It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview Raymond Re Representation of the NIL Marketing, Andrea Rasha. How are you doing today? All good, Brandon. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Can you talk about how you knew that you wanted to get started in working in NIL marketing? Um. Well, to say the least, I do, did not know I wanted to uh, do NIL marketing to, to start off. Um, it was kind of a surprise and a, and a very good one, to say the least. Um, initially, I, I wanted to work with professional soccer teams. I grew up playing soccer my whole life. I'm from Colombia, so in South America, it's like a religion almost. Uh, so when I got here to the States around 10 years old, I, I wanted to climb the soccer route, whether it was through player personnel, uh, partnerships you know, that side of business uh, starting out college. So I did not know. Um, but later on, you know, thanks for that run into Michael Raymond here at Raymond Rep and NIL broke out, which was a big, you know, uh, boom to the industry, to a new segment of the industry. So, yeah, it was, a, it was a good marriage, you know, at the end of the day, for sure. Of course, what was your experience like going to the University of Virginia and studying in sports management? Yeah, so I went to the University of Florida uh go gators and and it was great i mean i i enjoyed it to the fullest i would recommend it to to anybody interested in the field for sure um i came in the COVID semester uh but up until until then i was having a great time you know and my, my teachers were all super supportive i mean uf lives for sports power five sec school you know um also got the chance to work alongside the women's uh soccer team as well doing some stat work for them and it was just great, you know, being surrounded by top athletes that, you know, later on would go on to the Women's World Cup, Olympics, all that sort of things. And I mean, as you know, UF lives for their sports. So it was a it was a really good match. Uh, I love my teachers. Everyone, they're super supportive. And, and yeah, I can't say enough good things about it. Of course, what was that experience like studying sports management at the University of Florida? And what were some of the things that you learned? I definitely learned um what it takes to compete at a high level for sure you know we have so many good recruits in, in every in every sport out there you know so i definitely got to see that side of of the coin uh also got so much insight from so many people with so much experience you know um it, it was just great you know from the facility aspect to the player personnel to to everything um it was just i learned so much i was like a sponge and you know the the community itself of sports management is very close so all my colleagues it's like we spoke the same language and, and it was just great i enjoyed every minute of it coming out of the university of florida what was it like getting started and getting your start as an intern for sports management um i definitely that's something that you know thankfully to my sister uh was something that i stressed very on very early um, I started interning as soon as I got out of high school. Um, I was doing soccer summer camps. I was, you know, helping in gyms. Uh, I was just trying to get as much experience as I could. I think, you know, uh, experience is the best teacher in my in my world. Um, so being able to, you know, being in kind of everywhere, you know, helping with uh, YMCA camps, as like I said before, soccer camps, helping kids with disabilities camps as well. Uh, just networking was, was huge. So, um, 
you know, interning is definitely an important part, and I definitely recommend anybody in the industry uh, getting getting started as soon as possible because it definitely can teach you a lot. Of course, what was your experience like getting to work for the Paris Saint as a marketing and in the IL operations? Yeah, um, PSG was was very cool. Um, as you may know, um, they're one of the biggest soccer teams in the world with the biggest of names. And luckily, I mean, I I um, I contacted them and they had just moved here, um, instilling their academies. So I was actually, I believe, their first ever intern, um, and it was it was awesome. I mean, it was very very different from what I was used to. It was more, I guess, um, desk work and a lot of uh, communications between me and the other academies, as well as tournament directors, um, a lot of logistics and making sure. You know the tournaments we ran were going up the notch. Um, it was a lot of work, but it was it was great experience at the end of the day, um, being able to help you know people from France tap into the youth soccer market here and figuring that out was was very good. Um, I had to send out a lot of emails, so I got better at sending emails, which is a pretty underrated skill. I would say it's important to not send good emails, so um, definitely that helped, and, and everyone there was super supportive. Of course, what was that transition like from working with the Paris Academy to then coming to Raymond representation and working in NIL? It is very different. Very, very different for sure. Um, like I said before, NIL was everyone was like running like chickens without their heads. Nobody really knew, you know, how it worked, how it, it should be handled. It was it's so new, it still is very new. Um so it was like a whole new like side of everything uh it was really cool to explore and you know thankfully alongside michael we've been able to really build a very strong and solid base in the nil world you know i believe we're as good as anybody out there uh you know we're super personable with our clients but it was it was very different you know you, you go from working for an organization to now working individually with athletes you know in various sectors and different sports um it was very different but a transition that i personally enjoyed a lot um mostly since I got to really look into the agency business through, um, luckily through a MLS soccer player, Joseph Martinez, who back in the day was the MLS MVP, uh, through one of his friends at a, at a work trip in Atlanta, uh, when he was like playing his best soccer ever. I really got to sit down with his family and see how much an athlete's life can change those around him. So after that, I really wanted to dive into the representation agency side of things. And, and luckily I've, I found a good niche. Of course, for my listeners that don't know, what is Raymond Representation and what services do you offer? Yeah, so Raymond Representation is a full service um, athlete and entertainment talent agency. Um, we are based out of Miami, Florida, but we have people all over the country in different schools, um, interns, workers all over the place. Um, really, what we really try to do at Raymond Representation is, you know, build our athletes or our are our clients in the influencer world into entrepreneurs and to leaders. Uh, that's something that we stress a lot, something that we've seen, you know, when done right, opens up so many doors for them and those around them. Um, it's something that, you know, we stress, you know, being super personable with them because like I said, I, we really do care about our, our clients. Uh, we're very careful who we choose to work with, um, both employees and clients, you know, um, so yeah, we offer services in the endorsement deals, uh, brand deals, as you know, a lot of people know them, uh, charity work, as well as, um, event appearances, everything of that sort of realm, uh, where we can, uh, put our clients in good spots. Uh, you know, it's, it's a good kind of summary, I'd say of it. What is it like, obviously working in NIL marketing and being able to market these collegiate athletes? It's awesome. It's 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 a very it, it's it's very rewarding when the deals go through and you know you see the end product and you see these campaigns and activations. Um, like for example, I know Michael spoke about it a little bit in another podcast. Uh, we actually did a, a deal with H and R Block uh, in our female division, and you know apart from it just you know being the, the regular brand deal and you know uh, getting the the content out. I did actually pair them up with a tax expert to help them with their taxes, you know, so it's something, you know, it can really turn into, you can really turn it into so many things. It's so malleable. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's super fun. Uh, you know, you work, it, you get to be on the business and sports side of things, you know, work with both. So 
so it's it's really good and and I mean I'm a huge fan of of sports myself so I love being able to see our guys on ESPN night in and night out or competing or like Trinity Thomas in the ESPN commercials for the playoffs it's super rewarding for sure it's, it's a lot of fun what has it been like obviously getting to work with these collegiate athletes to get these NIL deals with these big companies oh say it again sorry go ahead. What has that been like, obviously, getting to work with these collegiate athletes to get these NIL deals with these big companies? Um, the most important thing on, on that part is finding the right fit uh, with the brand and a client. You know, um, not every brand or every deal is going to be perfect for each client. You know, each one has their own um, brand. Each Everyone has their own likings. You know what I mean? Everyone has their own fit to things. So. It's really fun when a company reaches out and, you know, expresses the idea of what they want to do. And then we f kind of find that right fit or we ask around, see if our clients would want to be involved in, in activations and all that. And, and it's fun when it's, you know, even more, even when they enjoy the product or the service that the company provides, you know, a lot of them, you know, they like, for example, uh, Emily Cole right now, our Duke track runner, she did a deal with Aloe and I know it's something that she's very passionate about, you know, just breathing and like, uh, you know, peace of mind and being able to prepare and, you know, doing health and wellness things. So it's, it's really fun to be able to work alongside these companies and, you know, coinciding through, through sports and, and great activations. Of course, what is that process like getting those athletes like Emily Cole from Duke to join Raymond representation? Yeah. So we're, we're always on the lookout. Uh, we're always on the lookout at the beginning, you know, luckily we, we found a lot of people, a lot of athletes like Emily, and Trinity, who who were looking to to really, you know, build their brand and and build something bigger than themselves. Um, but now, what we really look for is is the right fit of a client. You know, somebody who wants to be uh, marketable, who wants to be out there, who wants to to grow their brand apart from just being on the field, court, you know, on the pitch. It's it's bigger than that, and you know, that's something we stress out to a lot of our clients. It's you know. Um, taking that extra step in their content and in their brand and, and really growing it. It's it's really what we look for in a client. And, you know, when we see the right fit, we reach out or a lot of times they've reached out to us and we see the great fit and, and we make it happen. Of course, what are some of the college sports teams that you have represented? Yeah, so um, that's, that's, that's a fun question because I, I, I love sports as, as yourself. So, I mean, we've, we've worked with guys like Clemson, Duke, University of Florida, University of Miami, um, uh, Florida State University. Um, man, I'm like blanking out. Um, man, <laughs> yeah, those are the main ones. But, I mean, I mean, we, we've been all over the place. Now we have a girl at UNC as well. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much all the, all the top ones as well as, other other schools as well uh it really depends on the client but those are some names that come to the, to the top of my head that i can definitely tell you about right now of course what is it like obviously getting to represent some of those athletes at some of those top programs like clemson duke unc uh what's it like it's awesome it's awesome because you know i mean you've grown up watching all these great schools um you know growing up so it, it's great to be involved in the program it's great to go and at times when we have, you know, those those work trips with them where we have to get some stuff done, it's great to see those facilities. It's great to see the behind the scenes of what it is to become an athlete. Um, a lot of what people don't know is it's it's super tough for them. Their schedules are, are very tight. You know, they, they're running on a very prestigious program that require a lot of sacrifice, physical, mental, social, too, as well. Uh, a lot of these guys don't get a lot of times with their families and their friends and stuff, but... um. But it's super fun to see that evolution, you know, of what it really takes to be a Division One athlete, and you know, the behind the scenes of of it all. It's 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 pretty impressive, you know. Um, sometimes I don't know how they do it, but hey, they get it done, you know. So kudos to them. Of course, with some of those teams, do you also represent some of those teams on the West Coast, like UCLA, Oregon? As of right now, I don't no, we don't have anyone at, at Oregon or UCLA. Um, we we, uh -huh. we are actively looking because they're great markets. Uh, we have looked at some clients, but in the West Coast, as of right now, um, none from those two schools in particular. Of course, what are some of the sports that you have worked with in the past? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, back in the day, like I mean, I'm a soccer and basketball nerd, 
uh, not just a fan. I'm a nerd from them. I I check everything on it from stats to news to even watch tape on our guys sometimes just for the fun of it. But and it's and what's cool about NIL is it made me go into different sports that I never thought I'd go into, you know, uh, which are incredible that I found out. I've been a huge fan of like gymnastics, track and field. Uh, we're getting to a little bit of wrestling now as well with a client. Um, football. I mean, I've always been a big football fan, but I never thought I'd actually be working with football players or, you know, or in the fall in the football realm. So those are those are some, port, some sports that I was like, man, like, cool. You know, I never thought I'd be dealing with them, but it's been, it's been super cool to watch and amazing individuals in each one of them. Of course, what is that like, obviously, getting to work with those athletes in those sports like track and field, volleyball, and lacrosse that aren't very popular versus working with those sports that do get a lot of more deals like football players, like men's basketball, women's basketball players? Yeah, I, actually, what is surprising and what I really like about NIL in that realm is um, it's it's highlighted a lot of these um, lesser-known sports and, you know, has really helped those those people who have great brands in them stand out and you know also get paid from it you know so um that's been great uh i mean i don't know if they're lesser in the nil market because a lot of the times you know people in those lesser sports actually earn more than in the basketball or in the football world that we we've, that we've seen you know um it all depends on the brand and the individual um but what i am happy about nil is um it brought them to the forefront of things, you know, they, they get more coverage, they get more news, you know, they get more exposure to mostly on the women's side, uh, which is great to see. And it's something that we really stressed on early uh, alongside Michael. We really, something that we wanted apart from just great athletes is we want a really, really solid women's division. Um, and it's something that we've, we're very proud of and we've built um, so far. And also recently we've signed a girl from Texas and a girl from UNC as well in basketball. So, it's just going to keep growing better. And, you know, uh, on the women's side, it's helped a lot. So um, it's been great. I've been loving it. And I'm I'm glad they're winning on their end with these sports are getting more recognition. So um, that's a plus from, from NIL for sure. Of course, in your program, what are some of the services you offer for athletes such as Emily Cole? Yeah, so, I mean, it, it varies for, uh, per client. Like, for example, someone like Emily who – is just so proactive and just finds ways to keep adding herself value and keep bringing her brand up. And I just can't say enough good things about her. It's for example, like she has a, she has a book out. She's one of the only college athletes with a book out called the player's play, which I highly encourage anybody to go check out. It's about um, nutrition, sports nutrition. She did her own research through, uh, I don't want to spoil the book because it's pretty interesting where, where it comes from. So I'll just leave it at that. It's, Something she had a personal experience that was very eye-opening, and it got her into really diving deep into what takes uh, what good nutri- what takes to have good nutrition. So, for example, with her, you know, uh, I know right now we're planning stuff for her book for for a book tour. You know, we 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 plan on being apart from her deals. We also help her on the personal side as well with anything any questions she may have. You know, uh, we try to pair her with good people that will help guide things like her book out, um, her brand. So, you know, it, it really it really varies with her because she's, she's all over the place in the, in the best of ways. Of course, what, what is that process like for those athletes that are looking to market themselves and put themselves out there? Uh, well, can you say the beginning again? Mm-hmm. What is that process like for collegiate athletes to market themselves and put themselves out there? Yeah, that's a great question um, because, I mean, I have friends too that are athletes that keep asking me, like, man, how can I get the, the big brand deals? Uh, you know, which is a fair question. Um, I'd say it's it's about showing showing off your personality. You know what I mean? Throwing content out there, being active, you know, being coachable, being likable, being someone who you'd want to work alongside, you know, um, showing a different side of sports. You know, we're all we're all huge fans of the game, but a lot of the times we don't know what's going on behind the scenes, you know, so cool to show that different side of them being open, you know, being uncomfortable is important. You know, I've told a lot of them, I know it's weird sometimes to get in front of the camera and show your true self. And it is for sure. But, you know, when you take that extra step and you, when you do see those results coming in, uh, it pays off, you know, and, and it's cool content for everyone. I mean, I'm sure like you and me, we wander all the time, like, man, what do they do? Like, how's their life? You know, 
So, so being able to be marketable, I think it's, it's huge. You have to put yourself out there. You have to be constant. You know, you have to give back, which is important too. You have to, you have to throw different sides of, of yourself out there. So I think um, that's something I would definitely recommend athletes to do. It's super fun. And I mean, you know, there's always going to be interest. So it's there for them. Of course, with NIL, what is that process like getting to have those athletes have meet and greet? So, for example, Emily Cole at Duke setting up a meet and greet so people can get to meet her and have autographs and photos with her. Yeah, actually, I mean, I don't know. If, yeah, this guy right here, uh, Bryce Sensible from Ohio State, I actually did a whole meet and greet for him myself uh, alongside my team, of course. Um but doing doing things like that are I mean are great you know you have to you have to go through different uh, people of course you know you have to make sure everything is you're on the same page with the schools or with the people in charge or the collectives um, you know make it about them you know for me uh, what I did with Bryce for example was well, you know being more than an athlete tapping into that community you know what I mean uh, giving back to those people who who come out to the stadium and and show support to you you know who who root for you. And he did that, and it was great. Um, he even saw it at the end. I mean, from from what I got to see, from my impression, that um, you know he can really become more than basketball. You know that that's what I tell them to always be. You know, they they are more than athletes. They're great people with so many things to them. You know, and and being able to, you know, see the people also shake their hand and be super excited to to get to meet them and get you know that signature. You know, and and let them you know. And and I mean, with a guy like Bryce, you know, later on, who knows? Tell their kids like, hey. You know, you see that guy on TV in the NBA. I, I got to meet him. It was great. He was a great guy, like super, super welcoming. So um, it's really cool to put it together. It takes a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. It is. Uh, it can be stressful at times, but but the end product is, is, is fun. It's very rewarding for sure. Of course, with NIL coming about, how have you been able to see the change of where players like Bryce and Emily have been able to have private meet and greets versus previously they would only be allowed to do like meet and greets with the whole team. Yeah. I mean, I, I it just also comes to show, um, you know, how much it, it's grown, you know, like how much, how much power you have too. you know, put a whole event for yourself, um, you know, and how much we care too. I mean, I, I did that for Bryce. Basically my, my thought process was I'm like, man, if, if Bryce went to Florida, I would love to, bring my jersey or my ball or my hat and have it signed by him because I think he's going to be an absolute stud in the league or, you know, wherever he decides to go. So, I mean, it, it's good. It's cool to, to bring that vision to light, you know, um, and the difference between that and the team um, is, is just that, you know, it also comes to show from our end that we care about our clients. You know, we love to put on these events for our clients. We, we like to, to showcase them. And I mean, of course, if a teammate wants to come along and things like that, obviously more than welcome. But um, but yeah, no, it just comes to show that they have a lot of more more power and a lot more to their brand and and their their you know appearance. I'd say so. It's it's like I said before, it's very rewarding. How has it been like, obviously, getting to see those athletes come out with their own merchandise since NIL? Oh, it's great. Actually, uh, we did one for our Florida basketball player, Colin Castleton. Uh, we, we got him, we, you know, through our, our connects, uh, we, we got him to design his logo and, you know, we got some really cool hoodies that we did for his meet and greet too, and some shirts. Um, it was awesome. He was very happy with it. He loved it. I still have my hoodie. I still wear it. It's super comfy. Um, it's, it's great to see that. It's great because it also opens their eyes to something that, you know, if it does come, they will see down the line in the pros, you know, so it allows them to, to be able to already start seeing how that process works, right, from an early age. And then hopefully from there you build up, you know, as your brand grows, as, you know, your status, your your play grows, you know, they really get to see what works, what doesn't, you know. So I think it's great experience for them. You know, I, I think it's it's awesome uh, to be for them to be able to have it and, a lot of them are really cool, and, and like Collins came out super comfortable too. So, uh, great to see that for sure. Of course, for you, what has that been like? Obviously, getting to work with those NFL and NBA draft prospects that one day will make it to the NBA and draft. For me, it's just been a dream come true, to say the least. Um, I've always um, was, uh, I, I think, you know, 
the sports is the athletes come first. You know what I mean? It's so we come out to see. It's always when I was in the stands as a kid. I'm sure you felt the same. I'm like, man, what 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 goes on behind the scenes of you know of all these great dudes, you know, of all these great athletes, of all these great players. Like, what what goes on behind the scenes? How do they make it happen? So being able to really tap into that world, you know, um, seeing the behind the scenes it's, has been incredible. Uh, it also shows how hard they work. I mean, like I told you before, it's the schedules are crazy, man. Like I, sometimes I'm in awe, you know, even when I was interning and going to school and having a part-time job, I thought I'm like, man, my hands are full. But then when I see their schedules, I'm like, I I got lucky, you know, <laughs> like I'm like, man, I, I was, I was chilling compared to them. So it, it, it's been great um, to really get to see that grind uh, behind the scenes and being able to be a part of that. And more than anything, showing them, you know, from an early age, the potential that they can have, the, the, you know, what they can bring, you know, for them and generations down. I always stress the bigger picture to them, you know. Uh, not a lot of us get, get, that, get to have those opportunities. So with them, I tell them, I'm like, man, run with it. Uh, make the most out of it, give back, you know, and, and good things will come from that. And luckily with the guys we've been working with, it's been going that way. And a lot of them have opened their eyes to that. Of course, what are some of the things that you've learned now that you didn't know before working in NIL marketing? Um, definitely that this is a 24-7 uh, job. <clears throat> um yeah, at the weirdest of times, I'll just be getting important emails or calls or, you know, um, it's, it's the schedule is weird compared to the traditional um, job. So it's, but like I said before, it's very rewarding. Uh, but what I did not know is that for sure. Um, also, you know, everything that, that it takes for a company to, to, to make a, an activation or a campaign or market their products, you know, I, I had no clue how it happened. I mean, you just see the commercials and kind of the end product of everything, right? Um, but making that happen and coordinating that, shooting content, making sure it's good, you know, approvals, everything of that um, was a, a, a big, big, you know, eye-opener for me um, in this sector of the market. Um, so, yeah, I definitely say that. Of course, being an NIL marketing agent, what has that been like balancing being working with these athletes with NIL, but also having your own separate life outside of Raymond representation. Uh, what do you mean? Like what's been like the separation? The in a way? Mm -hmm. Like how have you been able to balance being an NIL marketing agent from life outside of NIL? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, for sure. Sometimes it can be tough. Um, it, it, it is, like I said, there's no set schedule on things. Sometimes, you know, you have to, be out somewhere like this, you know, you have to travel to places, you have to be there for them and important events. Um, but it, I mean, it is really rewarding. I, I try to, you know, bring in my social side to the sport events too. You know, like for example, we had, we worked with Cameron McGusty of the Canes last year, who's an all, all, all team ACC, I'm oh, sorry, first team ACC, as well as first team all tournament for March Madness. And, you know, I actually would, would bring my friends out to the bars with me to watch the games and, you know, uh, cheer with me. And, and, you know, so I've tried to, you know, a lot of people, we all like sports, you know, I try to kind of intertwine the two at times. Um, and it ends up being a good time most of the time. So it's been good. Uh, it is sometimes a little bit hard to balance, like I said, because of the uncertainty of things that may come up, but, but it's been good. I, I've been able to, to really manage it. Um, I'd say after a year, it became easier for sure. What advice would you give those people that are looking to work in NIL as a NIL marketing agent? Well, what advice is it? Mm -hmm. I would say definitely to find your niche. Um, I think that's something that is an important thing that I realized later on uh, through so many different roles and in internships and jobs that I did. Is you know, uh, sports is a big uh, you know a big world, but you, you know, like like you know, there's you know, the media side, there's ticketing, there's team operations, there's marketing, so many, there's so many ways you can go about the industry and it's tough to break in at times. So I'd say go out there, fail, you know, go out there and try, go out there and, and really look at the different positions, you know, and find your niche. 
and become really good at that, um, which is luckily, you know, at this company, what I've been able to do, they've really given me the freedom to express my ideas and to not only that, but to bring them to light. Um, you know, I've been heard, which is important. Uh, but, you know, to that, you also have to build your way up to that, right? So uh, I'd say go get experience, find your niche, you know, in the industry, um, find what you're good at, um, find skills that, you know, you think would really benefit for a company and, and, and work on that, work, you know, really going on your strengths. What advice would you have those collegiate athletes that are looking to get NIL marketing agents to help represent them? I definitely say to be realistic with yourself at the beginning. Uh, look at where you're at. Look at where you, the holes you can fill um, from your brand. Um, like I said, not every big agency is for everyone. You know, um, like like us, we, we tend to, to be more on the boutique side of things, which I personally enjoy because we really get to be personal with our clients. It's not like we just have one huge roster and, sure. you know, whoever does well, does well. And whoever doesn't, we just kind of leave. Nah, like we, we tend to be very personable and communication is huge for us. So definitely find someone who cares about what you're trying to build. Um, it's, it's, like I said, realistic with your situation, uh, where you stand in terms of level of play, um, social media, which is important, uh, marketability you know, and building off of that. A lot of the times people just think just based on playing level that you're good enough to get the big deals. And most of the time it's not true. Um, you have to be somebody who, who the brands want to work with, you know, and who show up something more that, you know, they can bank on. So I definitely, definitely say that. What advice would you have for those people that are looking to start their own NIL marketing agency? Uh, what, 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 sorry? What advice would you give those people looking to start their own marketing NIL agency? Um, that's definitely more a question for, for my boss or for Michael, uh, because, you know, he was, he's the lawyer and he's the one who, who built everything from the ground up. But from, from what I've been able to see, like I said, we're still very new in the business. And it's something um, that that is, like I said, is brand new. I would definitely say... Uh, be very dedicated to your craft um that makes you know you're gonna have to make sacrifices i know i did starting out you know i, I was stubborn to to be real to be transparent with you i was stubborn you know people wanted me to get out of the university of florida with the degree with my experiences and go get a job you know regularly which is still a great route i'm you know i just i was just stubborn because i i believed in in what we were building and i sacrificed quite a bit uh as of a year ago and luckily paid off so I'd say be ready to sacrifice, be ready to get, you know, down and dirty with it, you know, be ready to be hands on and be ready to wear a lot of hats um, to, to begin for sure. That's great advice. Where can my listeners find you at on social media along with the Raymond representation app? Yeah. So uh, for Raymond Rep, our Instagram handle is Raymond underscore representation. Uh, you can find me at Andres underscore R-O-C-H-A 12. Um, on Instagram, on LinkedIn, feel free to message me. If anybody has any questions, uh, I'm always an open book. I love helping people. You know, I'm still young myself, so any advice or wisdom that I can send out that I've seen so far, I'd love. I always love doing that. Um, and yeah, I mean, our website is also RaymondRep.com. If you guys want to check that out, it's brand new. It's super awesome, very informative. Um, it it kind of has our world in there, so I definitely encourage everyone out there to to check it out. Thank you again, Andreas, for your interview and best of luck in your future with the Raymond Rep presentation as the NIL marketing. Thank you so much, Brandon. Appreciate you having me on, man. Thank you. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Instagram and Brandon Sports Talk Twitter at Talk underscore Brandon. And you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Andreas, for your interview and best of luck in your future. Thank you. Likewise. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, Share and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.